Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're doing another $10,000 renovation. Uh, but first up, in case you don't know, I'm growing this mustache for the month of November in support of men's health, uh, specifically mental health. Uh, it's a really, really important cause to me. So if you click the link down below and donate, that'd be great. We've already raised over $2,000 this month and it's really, really awesome. So here we are in Brindleton Bay. This is the Bedlington Boathouse. Which actually, like, to be fair, is a pretty nice looking house on the on the outside. On the outside. <laughs> the inside's a little bit more drab. Uh, but we've got $10,000, you can see, down the bottom here. Uh, and I just want to see if we can make it a little bit nicer. I mean, like, look at this place. It is dark. It is dingy. It has a lot of potential. It really does, but it fails to meet that potential. I think we'll try and leave the outside mostly intact. I'm thinking I might actually add a skylight somewhere though, but that's probably about it. And then inside we might rearrange some walls. But up, one of the big problems I have is we've got this huge wall right down the back here that's actually cutting the place in half, which I guess is not the worst. And it kind of makes sense structurally speaking if you look at it, because it is directly below sort of where this section of the house is. So I think we can probably work with that, but I want to change it up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do first is actually just remove all the stuff we have. I'm going to keep the money that we get back from these items and then we're going to use it to sort of rearrange. Actually, you know what? You know, before before I just blatantly sell stuff, I might just keep them in the inventory just in case we need to use them again. Especially, no, I'm just going to get rid of these lights. These lights are awful. I hate them and they're terrible. I think we're probably better off if we actually close that section off there. I want to move the front door to this side where that window is and maybe put the window where that door is. I might even change the front door as well, actually, having a look at this. I might actually change it into a medium-sized door just because if you look at the smaller door, the height differential between the door and the window is not great. And then we can't really lower it down because then that window is too high and it looks weird with all the different heights. Uh, so I think the better option would just be to change the door. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. If we just go for something like this, it's only $15 more. I think having a door taller than a window is better than a door shorter than it. Could maybe even do something more like this. Which, well, that's a lot more expensive though. No, no, let's, let's keep it simple. Could even do a matching green door if we really want to, which we can do for now. We can always change that. I also want to move where the bathroom is to be over here where we sort of just cut that section out. So I would probably just do this and basically just wall up that little section, swap the bathroom. Uh, realistically speaking, moving a bathroom like this would be so expensive to have to redo all the plumbing. But it's also The Sims and it really doesn't matter. So, you know. Now, one thing I don't want to do is create a hallway through the bathroom because if you put two doors on a bathroom especially here we're gonna have sims that will just walk through to get to this section i really don't want them doing uh so i'm just gonna put one door there we'll probably just have it here by the sort of by the stairs i'm gonna get rid of that light in there i'm gonna move this little toilet paper roll over this way so it's actually by this toilet i don't know if this is the layout of the bathroom i kind of just put stuff in here randomly and i think the, <laughs> the randomness shows i mean it's not the worst positioning actually it's probably okay so we are now spending a bit more money. So we want to try to get cheap lights because my favorite lights are great, but they're $150 each, which is a little ridiculous. If we use the kids ceiling light and just scale them down, we almost get the exact same effect for only $70, which I think is probably one of the... No, no, it is definitely 100% the cheapest ceiling light. Uh, so these work really, really great if you're on a budget. I mean, there are like cheaper like lamps. Uh, there might be some, I guess, wall lights that are cheaper too. But I think these all just look really not great. Uh, these are okay, to be fair. I don't mind using these in like bedrooms or something. But I think for this purpose, we'll use a ceiling light. Like even when you come in the bathroom and if you look at the light, like especially if you look at it close enough, you definitely see the little moon and <laughs> cloud on it. But... Hey, it's it's worth saving half. Wouldn't mind like this sort of slate tile because I think slate is pretty nice, can be modern, but I think it's probably an unnaturally like it doesn't suit the house at all, does it? Which is probably the biggest issue. But then we, we don't we're not trying to match the period of the house, just I guess the style. Like it can be a modernized version of the house. So maybe even if we just do like gray tiles on the floor rather than like a slate tile. I don't know, we'll just go like that with now. So half the walls are just like a plaster, the other half are like tiled. It's a, it's pretty bland, but we, if we can add details in, we will. But I mean, we're on a budget. And now, as for the rest of the layout, I, I'm obviously going to get rid of this because we, we don't need this little cutout. Well, not cutout, this little room anymore. So we're going to open up this space. This is basically going to be the living space now. I think I'm actually going to reduce this 
their size. I mean, we don't really need to. No, maybe we'll, we'll leave it for now. I think what would be good though, I want to open up this place. So if we get this archway right here, uh, I'm going to just put, I'll put this table in my inventory for now. So I think if we do an archway here to, we've just opened up this area, we'll make it white. And I'm just going to put all this stuff in my inventory. Might even leave the fireplace there. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, we got some, we actually got a lot of space right now. Uh, we are potentially going to do the kitchen here. Then this is going to be open plan living and dining, I guess. There's just a lot of space, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get a couple of light these lights around the place. So I'll just do that for now. No, I think it, I, I almost think it's a little too open. I almost think that maybe we should just cut off this front section. You know what? I think I might actually leave that closed off just because of the fact that I don't think that we really need that to be an open living space. Like that could be a home office or even another bedroom just because this space here is actually huge. So I might see if we can also get in a skylight, which the way I'm going to do this, see if we can get one here. It's potentially possible. So if we reduce this roof size back to there, we bring the Eve in. We had glass in this section, trying to fill out this little, oops, fill out this section of roof with that. Then we have a glass skylight right there, which if you don't know how I did that, to be honest, I don't even really know how I did it either. I, I kind of just did it. I kind of actually want to make this a bit smaller. I think I want it to only be one tile. Or two tiles, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So now we just have like a little skylight right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then that comes down and then, oh, look, the light comes through. It really doesn't provide that much extra light, but it's there. I do need to move this ceiling light though, because that's not in a place anymore that, uh... Okay, we also need to add ceiling there. There we go. Just because that glass would also cut out that section if we left it. So there we go. So now we got that. Can even make it a little bit bigger if we sort of reduce this eave here. Because that one was coming down to that point. And if we just do this, we go, but beautiful. We could even do a window here. You know that. We put a window there, then we also have the... This window looking into where that skylight is. It has potential. Okay, so back downstairs. Flooring wise, I think I'm just gonna, for now, I'll just replace it all with this. And um, wallpaper. Should we go for like a light gray? And then I might actually darken the floorboards. Might lighten the stairs a little bit. Okay, so we got the darker floorboards, the lighter walls, but it still feels like you're really sort of closed in. Like it's still, a, it's a big space, but I think it feels kind of small because of the windows, especially with that view out the back. I think we got to open that up. So if we remove these windows, and what if we just put these on the back of the house? So let's say if we put those there, right? No, I think even bigger than that. Like I, I want to cover this whole wall. Oh. The laundry day windows. Dude, that is that that is a that is a view now. That is good. Does that like suit the house? I think it does actually. It especially like, still like follows the roof line as well. We could almost we could line the entire back of the house with that, which I think is a bit even I think that's a bit much, but we could, is what I'm saying. If I put those windows there, so we leave like a little wall either side. Then in this section, maybe this is where we use that other window. Like I think it's just such a shame that it was like so closed in. I think we'll just have a regular window there. So like they've obviously updated this section here, so it's like not nice and bright, which by the way, that is super bright. So I really want this to probably be, I guess this can still be the sitting area. I guess that makes sense. Uh, then back here by the entrance is where we'll do the kitchen. So I think we can do better than these counters at least. So I'm going to be spending a little bit of money here on these counters because they are damn expensive, but we'll cheap out on the appliances. Like we'll use the ones we already had. Oh, it doesn't come in gray. Oh, if they came in silver, it'd be so much better, but I guess we'll do <laughs> We'll deal with that. Problem is that exhausts our money so quickly. Actually, I might be able to, if I skimp out in that last one, put in a cabinet instead. No, I don't want to, I don't want a cabinet right, right next to, the only reason the stove is here is because I can't really put it there because there's a window. So it kind of has to be over this side. Might move the door over a little bit too. And with that, I might actually move that window. And I might borrow the tiles from the bathroom to put up on that wall. Man, cabinets are so expensive. A little range hood there. No, those tiles don't work at all. I think it's partly the lighting in here too. Let's move, I'm gonna move this light over there. Get these for a hundred bucks. Is it so dark in here? Like it, it's so dark. I'm trying to like light up underneath here. Might also just move this window to match with the other one. That honestly be, might be as good as we can get really with the budget. Like I don't want to go too much further with it because it's just, it's so expensive. All right, so we've also got a bin, which is good. I'll just chuck this next to the island counter there. And I think I will actually put in that archway that I was gonna put in because uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, part of the same sort of room layout but I think having that still open is quite nice everything is so dark in this house like it's just <laughs> if it wasn't if everything wasn't so dark it'd feel a lot nicer so there's much nicer stuff but I also got to keep in mind that I am on a ten thousand dollar budget which I feel like last time I did one of these I kind of just was like yeah I'll put, I'll put expensive items and then not really worry about the cost uh so I'm gonna <laughs> 
<laughs> Try to be a little bit more budget conscious. Ooh, I kind of like that to get some pattern into- Although, is that too much pattern with the, the floorboards? Because we already have like the sort of texture in the floorboards. I don't know if we also need it in carpet. Could even do like something like that. It's like a subtle sort of rug. Or we could just do the lighter version. Or we could do the blue, because I think the blue could go well with it. Oh, actually, this one provides a nice like, sort of pattern. Not that blue though. No, no, no. What if we do it like that color? And then get some green on the walls. I don't know if I want the green, but I put it there anyway. Nice big coffee table with something beautiful on top, such as my favorite item, which is in here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, then let's get the dining table, because we can probably just get the dining table in here. I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be in the center of the room. If we just put it like there. Probably not a dark color if we keep it lighter. Although it really does not go with this kitchen anymore. I mean, it can actually just sit in the middle and that works. So I would love to use that as more of a proper bar stool setup area, but I think I'll just, like, let's try and finish the furnishing first and then do extra details. So we still have this lamp, which I don't think I'm ever going to use. So I'm going to get rid of that. We do have this bookcase, which I could just put on this wall here. Oh no, maybe, maybe around here. I'll just put it on that wall. So it's still there. It's accessible. What if we get this guy in the corner? Not with a dark pot, like a lighter colored pot. Yeah! And then we get a rug. Hopefully a cheap one. What if we get a stone circle? Because that's super cheap. And then it at least looks like it's sort of sitting on something. And then can we get some really cheap, like, just art work? Just nothing, nothing crazy. Like, even just this. Because otherwise the wall just looks blank, you know? Okay, so over here, this is going to be like a, a home office or a study. So just a simple desk. Like, and honestly, I think, wait, how much is this? This is 300. I think this table is cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Always buy the table. It's cheaper every single time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a desk. Then what if we do uh, a rug out of carpet sucks in here. So, oh, it's so cheap though. It's only four bucks. You can save so much money. Do we carpet the whole room though? No, 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 no. No, I think I'm gonna buy a rug. I'm trying to find the cheapest one that I could scale up or do something with. Does this have different, this does have different designs. What about, how much is this? 50 bucks, that's not bad. Just do that, put it under there. Actually, a rug under the desk would be super annoying. Just because of the chair, but also whatever. 40 bucks, or oh, 60 bucks, 55 bucks. I guess we'll go 60 because it's, no, oh, you know what? We'll go with this one. Like, no one said it was a good home office. Certainly isn't. <laughs> like, it's just a desk in the room. Uh, I just thought it'd be nicer, like, looking out rather than at one of these walls. Like, we could put it on the side like this, but I think that's a little... Oh, more lame. Maybe we'll do different colored walls in here. Maybe we'll do different colored walls in here, just so it's not so... We can do blue, because we've got the green there, blue there. I, like, I think in this case, when we can't... Because gray walls I would love to use if we're going to be doing, like, lots of artwork, lots of decoration on top of it. But because we only have 4,000, like, essentially 500 left, we're not really going to be putting up much decoration. So I think maybe decorating with, like, other stuff is probably a good call. Like, in terms of different wallpapers. Otherwise, I'd keep it pretty simple. This is only $240 for this. I think that's probably worth it. And then maybe if we can get, like, an armchair in there. I love th I love this chair. It's so good. Not that color, though. It's the white one. I'm not spending $300 on a plant. 40 bucks? No, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're just like this guy. Let's send something next to it. I don't know. I think I think a plant next to a chair always looks pretty good. All right, so that can go there. Like, And then at least you have, like, a little sort of sight lantern there. I think this uh, doesn't look great there anymore. We could move this somewhere useful. Uh, you know what? No, we don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the downstairs there for now because we still got the whole upstairs that we haven't done. So we come up these stairs. It's all open plan, even open down to, uh, to the downstairs, which I don't think I'm a big fan of. But we also don't have a lot of room up here. So closing anything in does make it a lot smaller. So maybe what we do... I mean, like the obvious solution to like do rooms is obviously you put a room here and then you just do a room here. But then we end up with two separate rooms. Also, I totally just realized we had a desk up here the whole time, which we no longer need, so I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if we can save money by doing this. So that was 296. If I delete this, it's 275. It's actually about the same price, because if I delete this, yeah, it's like three dollars difference. So it's actually about the same. So whatever, get rid of that. <laughs> Don't get rid of that. Um, I mean the obvious solution is doing this. And then it would be like this. Cause then you still have a nice big enough hallway, although it gets a little bit smaller around the back. But then you end up with two way smaller rooms and you got this huge amount of wasted space essentially. Which is weird because it's the exact opposite from downstairs. Downstairs we have so much space and there's loads of room. And then upstairs is like, nope. Maybe we just end up giving it a smaller hallway so we end up wasting less space like that. And actually, moving the bathroom is probably better because it actually seems a bit closer to the bedrooms now. Like you go down the stairs and it's like right there. Whereas before, I was like over here, so he'd go down and like sort of walk across, which is a bit strange, but I don't know. 
We could just do that and then just have a smaller, I guess, uh, this room This room here is probably nicer for the master bedroom just because it's got that interesting skylight window. And then just have another secondary bedroom there. So it's actually now a two bedroom house. So you're welcome. Now, I probably actually don't want to use darker floorboards up here. Even though it matches downstairs, I think we either just whitewash it up here because it's so dark. I'm just gonna paint all the walls the same for now. Or we just do like carpet. I think I might just do like a white carpet up here. Just because it's a little bit brighter as well. So we're gonna use these kids lights again because they are pretty damn good. Uh, so we're gonna need one there. Probably just one in this bedroom would be fine as well. And we'll get one in this bedroom too. And then also, also we still have the lamp, which is good. I might also just get another one here in the hallway. Now, I don't mind the blue in the hallway. Uh, it's a little bit darker, which I think is probably okay. Now, do I want to keep these weird barn doors that don't really suit the house anymore? Probably not. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that. <laughs> uh, probably not. So... We'll just use a standard door, just like that. And then we'll have, so this door will be here because I think that's good because then it's not shoved on this little hallway. Then the only people walking down this tiny hallway, which yeah, it is, it is pretty small, will just be the people going to that room. So we don't shove all the doors in this, the same place, which is good. These bedrooms, I think we'll do different wallpaper. Actually, I think I like that sort of more muted blue a bit better. Maybe that color in there. Or just a lighter color in here because that room's a bit darker than this one as well. So also, yeah, even the beds, I just, like, what is this? It's so dark. Just like lighten it up a little bit. Jeez. Okay, before I before I even think about updating any of that furniture, I'm gonna buy the stuff we need for this room. Oh my god, look at this bed. It matches the walls. <laughs> that bed, uh, the color. Just do that. It's like super bland, but whatever. Oh, actually, maybe maybe we can um can we get the futons? Because at least these are like more modern. Because especially if we're trying to like sort of modernize the house a little bit, and I think they're more comfortable. Actually, they're energy four, so it's the same as the other bed. But this this bed here is also gives you the uncomfortable moodlet, whereas this one doesn't, so it is better. I actually swapped the little wallpapers around because I figured the blue, they've matched it with the wall. They're like, this looks great. That's what they're thinking, not me. I'm kind of thinking it too. Look, I mean, it looks all right. As far as having fun with uh, <laughs> just matching items. And that cool little lamp there. I think this room is already better than the other one, just because I'm putting more effort into it. This doesn't have any other colors, does it? No. Again, just trying to find some cheap artwork. That one's quite nice. Adds a bit of color as well to the room. Get that little dresser in the corner there. It's quite expensive, but you know, it's okay. We can afford it. And then a nice mirror there on the wall. And that's probably good for that room for now. Let's go back over to this one because I think we can probably update some of this. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a better bedside table. Probably get a nicer lamp than that too. Oh, how about this one with little flowers on it? That's nice. A little candle. And then I'm sure we can get a nicer looking dresser than that as well. That one there is pretty nice. Okay, so we've got $757 left. It's gonna grab that mirror. We'll get another mirror in this room as well. It's just a standard mirror just here like that. $532. Now there's no curtains in this place, but I feel like curtains are a luxury that we can afford. Although these are, even the short curtains are longer than I thought because they go over the dresser. Which is not ideal. Maybe we can't afford them. $115. What about just those ones over that sort of op that large window? We'll just do that. We'll just get the one. Because I think we could probably use some art in here as well. I don't like the flowers as much, but I, I, I really like that piece also. We couldn't really afford much else. So I figured we'll just use that piece. So at least it's not the same sort of uh, pictures, but it's, yeah. Still adds that sort of color in. Right, so that's pretty much all that we can do. I mean, we got 82 bucks left. We could probably do... Some lemons, but maybe not lemons. Maybe, nah, we'll just go lemons. Some le oh, actually, no. Screw the lemons. Oh, bowl of fruit is 80, uh, 95, and I only have 82. I can get this though, like the huge fruit platter thing. I don't know why this is cheaper. Do I want it on the table or on the counter? Maybe on the counter. How is that only $35? <laughs> that just seems too cheap. A little plant for the table. We get in the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty. The kitchen's pretty dull. Because the thing is, I would have liked to spend a lot more in the kitchen to to make it look. Because I think it could look really, really good, but it, I just don't have the money. <laughs> but there you go. That is the uh, the ten thousand dollar renovation. I got two dollars left. I've used every item that we had left over, and I think this place is probably better off. Well, at least I hope it is. So Bedlington Boathouse. Let's, I guess, have a tour real quick. So the outside, pretty much the same, especially from the front. Around the back, obviously, we've got a little bit of difference here with the added skylight and the big new windows. But that's pretty much all we changed on the outside, keeping it pretty simple. I just realized that there's no ceiling there, and that's actually not my fault. The house came like that. So I'm going to quickly put in a ceiling, which thankfully, adding ceilings is free. Just do this and we just drag it across the floor and then perfect. All right, so then I moved the door uh, from the bathroom or not from the bathroom, from that, that wall to this one. So we now enter off to the right hand side. So we come in here, greeted with a sort of open plan, kitchen, living, dining area. I think the kitchen has a lot of potential to be 
really, really nice, like I was saying just before. And then we have the dining just here. I mean, the layout is not ideal. I probably wouldn't want to have the door enter right there, but that's just kind of how it worked out without major... Uh, overhaul of everything. But anyway, th I mean, that's what I did. Little plant there in the corner. We've got a nice living room area now with the skylight and huge windows looking out to the... Like, I mean, as if you wouldn't want to look at this view out of these windows. Like, they had the tiniest windows. So I think that looks so much nicer now. You can sort of sit right here, enjoy the beautiful weather, sit by the fireplace. No TV yet. Can't afford it. Uh, around the corner here, we've got another little open plan home office area as well. Obviously, no computer included. But we got the bookcase, we got a little reading chair and a desk as well, which is quite nice. And then originally only a one bedroom, oh no, bathroom in here. Pretty, pretty boring, to be honest. Toilet, shower, sink, you got what you need. So upstairs used to be open plan, uh, which is a bit strange if you have a huge downstairs area because all the sound would carry up. If you were the only ones there, it was a one bedroom place, so it'd probably be fine. Uh, but now that it's a two-bedroom place, it's probably best that we have it all closed off. So in here we have our first bedroom, which actually, not too bad. Not too shabby. I quite like that. So we got the bed. Uh, we got the new window as well, which actually does give you a little bit of a sight line to the ocean. Uh, which is nice, considering the fact that we couldn't really uh, change the exterior of this house too much. Having that added sight line is pretty good. Through this way, we have the new second bedroom, which I think is also pretty nice. Pretty simple. Tiny little window there, tiny window there, but, um, you know, not too shabby at all. So that is a renovation done with only $10,000. We pretty much overhauled the house, but stayed within budget. I didn't do anything stupid, at least I don't think I did. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think. I will upload this to the gallery as, I guess, Bed Bedlington Boathouse Renovation or something. I'll link it down below if you want to download it. Also... Don't forget, I'm growing this mustache throughout November for charity. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you can donate, there is a link down below for that as well, and it'd be very much appreciated. Uh, but until next time, guys, make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.